first started cooking with fish 12 years ago when I purchased this restaurant. That's when the whole journey towards learning how to cook with South Island fish started. I started researching the New Zealand fishing industry, whether it's sustainable or not. I refused to serve Orange Ruffy. Back in the day, Orange Ruffy was kind of like a gold rush. We almost wiped it out. As soon as this was recognised, everyone went, whoa, we need to do something. We were working on assumptions, I suppose, back then, that the fish will grow back. There's a huge population and they'll grow back quite fast. What we found later on was that they didn't grow or reproduce as fast as we thought, and that fishery got pretty close to collapse. The urgent need to safeguard New Zealand's fisheries drove the introduction of the quota management system in 1986. The aim of the quota management system is to ensure that the amount of fish taken out is a sustainable amount of fish. So we measure the fish, we know how many fish are there, we know how fast they grow and how fast they reproduce. We put those two things together and we can work out exactly how many we can take to keep the stock sustainable. A couple of the big players in the, uh, the deep water quota management system are our hokey. We catch 10% of those fish every year. They're fast growing fish, so in four or five years, a new generation's come through. As opposed to the orange ruffy, which is a slower growing species, and we're fishing 4% of those on an annual basis. If we keep to that just 4% of the fish that are there, we know that that, that population is slowly increasing. 100 species of New Zealand fish are managed under the quota management system, and the sustainability of many of these has been independently certified by the Marine Stewardship Council. The Marine Stewardship Council is an international not-for-profit organisation in terms of looking into certification stand for sustainable seafood. The MSC has what they call a, a blue tick to ensure that the seafood that you're actually consuming in front of you has gone through a whole process of rigorous third-party auditing and has actually come from a sustainable source. The Orange Ruffy is a story of redemption, but the New Zealand industry has had the foresight to actually start the whole process of research two decades ago, leading into eventually the MSC certification that was successful sometime the end of last year. The international recognition of our fisheries management as one of the most sustainable in the world changed Chef Darren Lovell's whole approach. I discovered just how well we manage our fish and, and how the world reveres our fisheries management system. Orange Ruffy is an amazing story. We started serving it again in the restaurant. We didn't serve it at all for the last 10 years and now we serve it. I love looking at our customers from, and they come from all around the world and their faces light up when they, they tuck into our fish. We have the best seafood in the world and we should all be proud of it. Ted Goons skippers one of the largest trawlers in New Zealand. Whether he's fishing commercially or recreationally, the same principles apply. You know, when we go out in the bay and catch a snapper, I always follow the rule of limit your catch, not catch your limit. We take one each if we can catch them, and one for the neighbour. That's pretty much, yeah, that's the rule of thumb. If we went out there and just caught everything in the ocean, there wouldn't be nothing there for them to catch when they grow up. We gotta look after it for the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. We gotta look after it for everybody. It's ours.